Hi everyone, <coughs> welcome back. Um, feels like long time no see. I've been busy with houses and trying to sort out a journal for a lady and it's not quite working so I thought right okay do something I know about. So this is my latest journal. Hardback, um, curved spine. It is uh, vintage woodland creatures I think sort of. Vintage woodland definitely. So normal size, eight and three quarters, six inch to there, plus another sort of half an inch or so for the spine. We've got a woodpecker on the front um, with some a leaves, some berries sitting on a branch and a bit of um, writing memories on a, mounted on a piece. Of, well, I've gone over it with metallic um, Actually, this is uh, metallic wax I've gone over the wood chip with. It's come out really good. I'm very pleased with that. And then we, I've painted on some uh, stripes on the spine. And the back is distressed. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted today and I do apologise. <laughs> right, if we go inside, Tim Holtz fastener, sari silk for the fastening. There is seven signatures. There is just under 200 pages altogether in this. So um, quite a chunky thing. So we have some press ferns or ferns on the, the inside cover. A wood pigeon. We have loads of those around here. Now this tag, I was talking to a lady, Maureen, um, about nature and I mentioned ants. And I came across this tag with some ants on it. So Maureen, if you're watching, those are for you. So, lace pockets. A poem. Those are journal in space. I did wonder if I'd be able to manage to make a nature journal without putting in any Edith Holden, but it didn't quite work. A little um, poem. We have a tag in there. And I've put some little butterfly note cards for it, just for a bit of interest. Music paper, which I thought was quite sweet. Oh, for the wings of a dove. This is out of the Bennington, Benningfield, sorry, Gordon Benningfield's, one of his books. And the centre is uh, some dragonflies in the middle. That's the back, the woodland. This is a lace pocket. I've had, I'm trying to clear out a lot of my stuff, ready to sort of pack up to move house. I saw this lace and I thought, ooh, I've ummed and odd, and you know what it's like, you shove it to the back and think, what on earth am I going to do with that? So I've just threaded through some little um, very fine silk ribbon. And I thought, yeah, I quite like that. It's got a tag. <clears throat> Another poem. And a poem about trees, which I thought was appropriate. It's an envelope and there is a little ticket in there. It's a deer and a starling. It's a little card in there. Picture of some wild, 40 wild flowers, although I don't think there's that many on here. Another of the butterfly notes. All the pictures are from the Benningfield books. And that's from Nature Notes. Plain on the back, so I've put a glassine bag on the back of it. And I've just done a bit of a collage onto it. Now those that watch the tutorial I did on collage, this is um, this is the one I did on screen. I was really pleased with that with the dimension on the butterflies. It's a book page on the centre, more dragonflies, hedgehogs, and this is the other end of the bag. So I've done another collage, although these are flatten down slightly. I 
There's nothing inside the banks, I will say. They are nice big banks, but they are empty. Back of the pages. Ow, that, these are just clipped on. I haven't done too many pockets because I'm never sure if people want to write in them or draw in them. So I figured if I clip these on, then you can either stick them down or clip things under them. Some more wildflowers. Little tuck spots. Hair and a stag. Tag. That's another hair. Butterflies. Verdant Meadows. I have actually thought about this book and tried to coordinate all the papers. Some more deer. Took spot at the top. I thought, well, it's sort of woodland. I quite, I really like the colours, so hence it got included in this book. Wild rose, wild dragonflies in the centre, pansies, fabric took spots, and a few more fairies in the woods. See, that was the connection. They are in the woods. There's another card that's just been clipped on in the back of the papers then we have badgers and the fox hedgehog I don't I don't see these anymore <coughs> excuse me I don't even see them squashed more children in the woods. Take spots. I've done some just some black and white printing on some craft paper to make a little pocket on the back. That's a poem. Book page. That might look a little odd, but it will become clear when we get to the other side of it. And I just love his pencil drawings. That's the centre. Here we go, see? Squirrel. And another card that's been clipped on. And that's another black and white printing. I picked these because they were trees, but also because, obviously, I quite like the pictures of the kids. And a red squirrel and some deer. It's a little card of stoats, that one is. Poem. Took spot, and that one is a mouse. Um, Flutterbys music. This one is Welcome to Spring. Another one of Benfield's paintings, The Badger. Some more fairies. And the Santa. Squirrels. Another little card that's been clipped on. On the back of the papers. Some more hedgehogs. I've done the same with this again with the Hessian. I've removed some of the uh, the twine that runs through it and threaded through some very thin silk ribbon just to give it a bit of decoration. Otherwise it can look a bit plain. And we have hedgehogs. And a tawny owl. A note card. I think these are dormice. 
little mice, sorry. Butterflies, picture, I have some more that. I think actually this is nature at night, that one is. Another paper bag with another collage. So they will give you a bit of dimension. Mad March hair. And the centre. Rabbits. And another collage, or the last of the collages, that one. There are, the bags are nice and big, but I haven't put anything inside of them. And that is how it comes as part of that page, hence why that one's in there. This is, I didn't realise actually when I was looking at the front, I think it says 1910, that book. Papers are so lovely. It's almost like cartridge paper. Uh, corner tuck with the rabbits. Snails. It's not a ticket that's been clipped on. An owl and another rabbit. And this is the last signature, this one. Tag, a grey squirrel, and tuck spots, little note cards. Isn't that a gorgeous picture? I just love the colours on that. And some new music paper. Another Edith Holden page, poems. And the centre. I think that's supposed to be a thrush. It talks about that's actually a little note card. That one. Yep, I even like the back of the picture, or the other half of it. And note card, envelope, and there is a little tag inside. Rabbits and a squirrel to finish it off. So there we go. I will be listing this in my shop. Um, thank you very much for watching and I will speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye.